Okay, now would be a good time to talk about something that is close to my heart. Uh, avoiding fractions. Avoiding fractions. Okay, so if you're row reducing and you find yourself with fractions early on in your reduction, then you're, you're going to have some pain. And let's see if we can avoid some of that pain. So here we have a two by three. Let's reduce it and let's try to avoid introducing fractions. Um, you can't always avoid fractions, but you should try to delay the um, the appearance of them. Okay, so what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Well, there's two ways to do this. One way is to use uh, lowest common multiples. So what do you want to do? I want to get a zero right here, right? <clears throat> um, if I divide by, if I divide this by two, I'm going to get fractions over here. Ugh. So what I'll do is I'll I'll say, what is the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3? I'll say that's 6, right? So I should try to get a 6 here and a 6 here. So I did uh, 3 times row 1 and 2 times row 2. Mm. 9 minus 10 minus 4. And then you can do row two minus row one, six, three, nine, zero, uh, minus three, minus 13, okay, uh, minus 13. And in this case, you're lucky you get something that's uh, not too bad. Two, one, three, row one. What did I do? I did one third, row one, and I did one over, and I did 13, row two, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm using lowest common multiples, okay, to, to avoid introducing fractions on the first step, okay? If you have a fraction appearing in the first step, that doesn't usually end well. Um, or you can do other kinds of fancy footwork. You can do, you can say to yourself, um, I would like there to be a one right here. So I want there to be a one here. And then I say to myself, three minus two, that's one. Hey, hey. So I'm gonna row three minus row two. Okay, now I can just interchange. And now I have a one where I want it to be, and I don't have fractions. So, and then you have to continue from here. So those are two little things I do to avoid fractions. Again, you can't often, the answer is gonna have fractions in it, so you can't avoid fractions completely, but you want to at least delay, okay? The first step should not, should not introduce fractions. Um, okay, so I'll, let me finish here by just saying 
this, if you find this avoiding fractions thing confusing, then it's not necessary. It's just something you can do um, to make yourself more efficient. But it, it really is more of an advanced thing that you should only try once you've mastered um, the kind of algorithm, the first algorithm I gave you.